Okay, let's talk a little bit about brain health. Is that kind of the right way to put this, that B12 is good for memory? Yeah, there's actually a study in Australia. Um, it was uh, folks who took B12 mm -hmm. and folic acid, and this was a, a double-blind study. So the, the, you know, the groups were split into two. One group took B12 and folic acid, and, and one took uh, fake pills, mm -hmm. and uh, did that for two years. And at the end of two years, it found these were older adults, 60s, 70s year, years old, okay. that they had better scores on both short-term and long-term uh, memory tests. Really? Okay. So, you know, there's a couple, you know, things to think about behind that. Certainly we know that B12 and folic acid are instrumental in keeping homocysteine levels down. What does that mean? And homocysteine is, a, is a, actually a marker now we see for cardiovascular risk, so heart disease, stroke, but also potentially Alzheimer's and, and, and other uh, dementias. Okay. Uh, so folic acid and B12 wind up being a treatment for that. So, you know, we typically track homocysteine levels, track B12 and folic acid as well. And of course we know there's a lot of medications that people take routinely that deplete things like folic acid and B12. I mean, those are common nutrients that are depleted with, with a lot of the common medications we take. For example, the acid suppressing medications do a, do, do a big job in decreasing the absorption of that. So, okay. you know, important to consider taking that. Of course, you, you know, we, we, we bounce back and forth. A couple weeks ago, was the, we talked about the study about multivitamins and increased risk. So, you know, you always have to take things with a, with a grain of salt, but mm -hmm. we've known B vitamins have a good impact on the nervous system, and, and this may be one more, um, you know, reason to consider them. So if you're an older adult, is it wise to just go ahead and add a B12 supplement and a folic acid supplement, or do you really need to check with your doctor first, get some levels checked, uh, that sort of thing? Can you yeah. OD on that kind of thing? Uh, I mean, you can, okay. and we know that folic acid particularly you can OD on, okay. and, and um, so you want to be careful with that. I think a good quality multivitamin would cover the basis oh, and, and right. not just provide uh, the, the, the B12 and the folic acid, but provide other nutrients that may be needed. Again, it's an insurance policy. It's not a replacement for eating well and taking mm. care of yourself. That should be iron free, particularly in, in, in older adults. The uh, multivitamin? Once, absolutely. Needs to be iron free uh, okay. unless you have low iron levels because taking too much iron is one of the things that can be problematic.